And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to some more super Jim O Fix It. If you want a star in a synchronized swim, or meet the three pairs, then you must write to Jim. If you want to give, give you a wash. A handsome man to serve you not. Be an envoy to the USSR. Or take a date out in a miniature car. Jim will fix it. Jim will fix it. Jim will fix it. Ladies and gentlemen, we uh, hope it's been a very good week for you, and here's a very good set of fix-its for you. Here we go now with a letter from Leeds. Yeah, Leeds. Dear Jim, will you please fix it for my son John to have a tarantula crawl over his hand and up his arm? He is very interested in all types of animals and has specimens of a scorpion and a Peruvian tarantula in his room, but his mother won't let him have a live one at home. Yours sincerely, John Sparshat. Well, of course, we can't have a live tarantula next to me either, but here from the really wild show, we've got Chris Packham. How about that? Wait, wait. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. What do I... Is that a toy? No, this is the real thing. The yeah, excuse, real just a moment. Excuse me, thank you. Yes. <laughs> no. I can get a closer view from here, ladies and gentlemen. Right, this is you. Fearless Fred, ask him some questions about the beast. Where does he stay? Well, this one stays in a tank in the really wild show office, and he's a big pet of everyone there, and they fuss about and look after him. A pet? A pet. Good he's heavens. He's a popular chap, this guy. Really? Oh. Where, where do they, uh, Where do they, they, they... If he lives in a tank, how long do they live for? Well, this one we think is a male, and the males live for about seven years before they molt, and then they die. Oh. Now, if he's lucky enough to be a female, it's very difficult to tell. He could actually... I would find it no problem. ...could go on for 25 years. Oh, I would find it a great problem. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're asking some questions. You're nearest. How old is he? Well, we think this one's about seven, because he's just molted, and well, I'm saying he all the time, we think he's a he, because he's started to tear around all over the place as if he's looking for a mate. <gasps> really? Goodness great! Listen, fearless Fred, I thought you wanted to hold one. Did you want to hold it? Uh, really? Honestly? Yes. I'll save you if anything goes wrong. <laughs> I'm ready to save you, you know that, don't you? Right, all right, then. Right, are you ready, then? Well, you put your hands out flat with the palms of your hands, put both together. Right, now, I'll just let him walk on. Mm -hmm. uh. There you go. And how does that feel? Nice. Feels nice. He feels a bit sticky, doesn't he? I think it's lovely. Sort of swap that hand round and catch him on that side. What What do they eat? This one eats crickets, which come in the post, and in the wild they eat insects and all sorts of things like that. Definitely not humans. No. In the past, tarantulas have always been made out to be bad guys, and in films they've eaten tanks and whole cities and things like that. There's a film called The Tarantulas That Ate Tokyo. Why, why, is, it, why is it going up his arm? Well, I think it's taken a liking to him. Has it? Yeah. Uh, I, I th Ian, aren't you scared? No. Are you, really, honestly, you're not scared? Mm. But that's a tarantula that sort of eats little boys and things. And <laughs> insects. And you're not bothered. Have you stroked it? Can you stroke it? Yes, to give him a little touch on the legs. Don't touch his back. Why not on the back? Well, on his back there, yeah. it, they actually scratch the hairs off that bit there and it goes bold. Is and it? what they do is they stick into you and, and they're a severe irritant. That's how they look after themselves and stop getting eaten by foxes and mice and things like that in the world. Really? You can see a few little tufts there, look, where he's got a bit angry a little while ago. Oh, I think... I think you deserve about seven Jim will fix it badges. So, so if you'd like to relinquish your... I'll tell you what, whilst, whilst he's there, I will... You see, I've got no nerves, me. I'm completely fearless. The only reason I'm at the back of this chair is because I've got a bad back. And... <laughs> I think Jim ought to hold the spider. What do you think? Oh, Jim? yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, later. <laughs> I think so. Whilst you've got both hands free, right, would you like okay. to give him a Jim will fix it, badge? Here you go. But don't knock the Ooh. spider, whatever you do. <laughs> oh, hang on. You, in your letter, it says your mum wasn't very keen on spiders. Is that true? 
Yeah. Right, so I thought I'd better not leave you with the actual spider, but while I was out yesterday shopping, I came across this <gasps> book in the bookshop, and it's tarantulas. It's all about tarantulas, and it was particularly good for you because the first chapter is called Tarantula Mania. Ooh. Okay? So I'll leave you with the book, and perhaps when you get a bit older, you can twist your mum's arm and get your tarantula of your own. Okay? Yeah. Right, there you go. And Thank you. Um, And will you tell everybody from the Really Wild Show that we all watch it and we think it's terrific, OK? I certainly will. Good, good. Uh, now, you're going to take this... You're going to take Ron off him, aren't you? Yes, OK, then. Come on, Ron. Come on. Come on, Ron. It won't leave you, will it? No. And it won't leave me. Oh, that's all right, then. Because my back's better now, all of a sudden. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> terrific. I see. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had uh, tarantulas, beautiful... Ballet, we've had all sorts of marvellous things. Listen, look after yourself, please, for seven days. See you next week for some more super Jim Fixes. Fix It.